But they got it easy here. You toss them their lunch. Yep. I mean, can you show us how they catch fish in the wild? I suppose so. Okay. First, they rely on their keen eyesight in uh, fresh in clear water to spot the fish. Then they're gonna their flippers are gonna kick in the face. <laughs> now in murky water, in murky water, they're gonna rely on their strong bleh, on their flexible whiskers oh. to help them feel the vibrations that fish make when swimming. Get up, Sue Lily. Now you saw how quickly they made those sharp turns. Well, that's due in large part to that strong flexible neck. And as soon as Susie gets up there. No, that's flexible. That's real flexible. But you know, when a school of fish are fleeing a, potential, a sea lion, they're going to have, they're going to be moving in a strong, agile side to side motion. I'm all mixed up. And with that strong, flexible neck, sushi has no problem keeping up with them. Well, I guess you wouldn't have any trouble finding a meal out there. Well, you mentioned murky water, but sushi and Lily don't have to worry about that here. This water is constantly filtered, and if any algae forms on the bottom of it, we have a team of divers to come in. And Good girl. Now, to me, the vet, if, if a vet, and I suspect anything further wrong, I'm sorry, I'm all confused today, she'll let us <laughs> take a blood sample from right back here. And that's even trickier because it requires using a needle that's three inches long. Pretty long. Yep. <laughs> well, why does Sushi and Lily let you do all this stuff to them? Because I have a bucket of fish. Yeah. Yeah, no, because I'm their trainer and we have a mutual trust, but that only comes from many years spent working together. I have to be extremely patient and consistent when teaching them both new behaviors. But training's very good stimulation for them, and it's also very rewarding. Show them what you're going to do if you see a All right, shark. Sushi, now if I was a shark and I'm after you, what are you going to do? She goes, Let's see what she's going to do if she sees a shark in the pool. I, I thought I was more frightening than this. I, you not. Are pretty I'm a shark and I'm after you, Sushi. What are you going to do? Well, <laughs> actually, the last thing she'd do is hide her eyes like that. More than likely, she'd just swim real fast to a safe place. Right there. Well, sharks are a big threat, but out in the real world, uh, no, what did I say? <laughs> you, you, not only you are having trouble, I'm having trouble too. <laughs> sharks are a big threat, but pinniped enemy number one is us, humans. And most of the time, we hurt them without even meaning to. Like, for example, this fishing line. Hey, come on, Lily. Her little routine today. Look at that out there. There's garbage in the pool. Go get it. She I guess I had to swim today, huh? By the you know, Lily? Huh? Anyway, in the wild, animals might mistake this for food, and they'll actually swallow it, and that can kill them. But here, Lily, believe me, is trained to pick up all the garbage that goes into her pool, so that it's not a threat to either her or Sushi. Now, when I do eventually get this bottle back from them, I'll go ahead and throw it away, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. What, what else are you going to do with it, huh? Maybe recycle it? Is that what you want me to do? Okay, recycle it. You've got the idea. Recycle everything you can. Glass and plastic and aluminum and newspaper. Your little sister. Chill out. Chill out, Lil. We're not going to recycle you. Now, hold on there. Okay. I'll tell you, although there aren't any sea lions in the Gulf of Mexico, there are a lot of other neat sea creatures like dolphins Hello. and whales real close by. And we all got to do our part to protect the natural world. Because when we protect animals like Sushi and Lily and their environment, we're also protecting ourselves. Well said, Doug. Well, thank you, Carol. Well, we've got to get back to our training and studying now. We are so glad you all could drop by on this somewhat cloudy afternoon. And we hope we've answered some of those nagging questions we know you have about sea lions. And if we didn't get to all of them, we have expert staff and volunteers who would be happy to answer them. We hope you have a great day and come back and see us again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I'm going to